The ten plagues of Egypt are a sequence of catastrophic events described in the Bible, specifically in the book of Exodus chapter 7-12. These plagues were sent by God to compel Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, to release the Israelites from slavery. Pharaoh repeatedly refused, so God sent progressively severe plagues to demonstrate his power and force Pharaoh's hand. Here's an explanation of the significance and progression of the plagues. 1. Water turned to blood. The Nile River, a crucial source of life in Egypt, was turned into blood, killing fish and making the water undrinkable. This attack on Egypt's lifeblood, the Nile, was a blow to their economy and religion, as the Nile was considered sacred and a source of Egypt's fertility. 2. Frogs. Frogs came out of the waters and swarmed the land. Covering homes, streets, and beds, frogs were associated with fertility and rebirth in Egyptian religion, but their overwhelming presence turned them from symbols of life into a curse. 3. Gnats or lice. All the dust of the land turned into gnats or lice, infesting people and animals. This plague represented God's power over the earth and living creatures, as even the dust itself became an instrument of suffering. 4. Ephelis. Swarms of Ephelis invaded Egyptian homes and lands, but the Israelites were spared. God started to make a distinction between the Egyptians and the Israelites. The plague did not affect the Israelites, showing that God protected his people. 5. Pestilence on livestock. A disease struck the Egyptian livestock, killing them. While the Israelites' livestock was unharmed, Egypt relied heavily on livestock for food, transport, and sacrifices. The selective destruction showed God's control over life and death, further weakening Egypt's economy. 6. Boils. Painful boils appeared on the skin of both Egyptians and their animals. This personal affliction made it clear that no one was immune to God's power. Even the Egyptian magicians, who initially tried to replicate the plagues, were helpless before this one. 7. Hail. A storm of hail and fire rained down, destroying crops, livestock, and trees. Egypt's agriculture was devastated. This showed that nature itself was under God's command, attacking the very source of Egypt's food and livelihood. 8. Locusts. Swarms of locusts devoured whatever crops and plants remained after the hail. This plague compounded the damage from the hail, wiping out the remaining food supply and emphasizing the severity of God's punishment. 9. Darkness. A thick darkness covered Egypt for three days, so heavy that the Egyptians couldn't see or move. Darkness represented judgment and the withdrawal of God's light and order. In Egyptian culture, the sun god Ai was one of their most important deities, so this plague symbolized the defeat of their gods. 10. Death of the Firstborn The final and most devastating plague, where the firstborn of every Egyptian household, including pharaohs, died in one night. The Israelites were spared by marking their doorposts with lamb's blood, which caused the angel of death to pass over their homes. This final plague broke pharaoh's will. It was the ultimate demonstration of God's power over life and death, and the protection of the Israelites set them apart as God's chosen people. This event is commemorated by the Jewish holiday of Passover. After the final plague, Pharaoh finally let the Israelites go, leading to the Exodus, the liberation of the Hebrew people and their journey to the Promised Land.